The World Sports Betting SA Classic is a rematch between Malmus and Catch-22. So make sure you book your front row seat. And it's Malmus in the lead, pressed all the while by Copper Mountain. Second base, Catch-22 tries to chase them down. Then comes The first leg of the World Sports Betting Triple Crown in February saw a thrilling finish between Malmus and Catch-22. And the two meet up here again. Facts about them couldn't be more different. As the second highest priced yearling at 4.4 million, off the 2019 Empress Palace National Yearling Sale, Malmus made his presence felt from the time he stepped onto the track. Apart from one disappointing run in the Cape Guineas last December, when everything went wrong, he's shown his class and ability in his other races, winning them all. Certainly a horse that should be eyeing the classic now, Mr. De Kock. Yeah, well, you know, as I've always said, he, he's, the further he goes, the better he'll, he'll be. You know, he's, his pedigree really wants a mile and a half. Um, he'll get there no problem. Um, so, and hopefully he'll come on a little bit. He's going to need to come on a bit. I think the second horse, you know, another stride or two may have got us today. But um, the 18 and the 2-4 are definitely going to be better for him. Catch-22, on the other hand, is something of a rags-to-riches story costing a mere 120,000 rand off the same auction he made a quiet career debut but has since developed and strengthened into a high class athlete and dual group winner these two horses have met twice with it being too love to malmus but whilst malmus's form is exposed catch 22 looks to still be on the up to be honest with you, Michelle, I think you'll only see the best of this horse in six months' time. Uh, he, he, he's just furnishing now. He was a very, very lanky two-year-old. And from two to three, I see a massive improvement. And I see it every day. So I think in six months' time, you'll see the, the, the end product. I think he was his own worst enemy in the Guineas. He, he hung in, and which I think... Uh, cost in the race or could have got a lot closer but anyway I think Malmus was the best horse on the day uh, let's hope Saturday is a different story and uh, the, the Giddies has brought him on I think it hardened him up and uh, I think definitely getting stronger and I think 1800 will suit him better could this be his grade one please God yes I, I, I think uh, they deserve it Especially the breeder, John Everett, Narrow Creek Stud. He hasn't had a breed, uh, Group 1 winner yet. He's had many Group 2s and Group 3s enlisted. And he's breeding such a good horse. And I'm hoping that I'm the person to give him his first Group 1 winner.